Okay, so in this video I'm going to show um, quickly how a uh, Dell Inspiron 15 7000 model is put together. Um, because it's somewhat difficult to do this one, I actually left the pieces somewhat disassembled. Um, that way I can just show kind of how it's held together and then most of it you'll be able to kind of figure it out. Um, so first you got to remove these four um, Phillips screws here. Um, I used a PH1 um, or a J1 screwdriver bit, so you can remove these four. These ones come out. The other screws, they'll stay in place, so you just loosen them, and they'll be loose like this. So there's another one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. So six other screws, and then four that actually remove. Once you get those apart, the bottom here, you'll see there's um, a gap. So what you do, you can get a pry tool. I use my fingernails and you just pull this out with your nails and it'll pop out. So once you go around and pop out around the edges, you can go along one of the sides and then pull it and you can just yank this out. You'll hear it click, um, the clips will release. So it'll click and then um, there's four screws holding the batteries in place, the battery in place. So you want to remove these four screws. This one, this one, and this one. They all use the Phillips um, or J1 screwdriver. Um, once you get that, you want to pull this out. I'll use my nails along the sides, just like I do in my other videos, and then pull that. Remove the battery. Once you get that, you can see here. There's the wireless card here. There's the I/O board for the SD card slot, the USB port, the, um, the Ethernet port, and that connects it to the motherboard. Then you got the processor and the uh, video chip underneath this. Um, so these, they're soldered to the board, you can't remove them. There's a RAM slot, there's two RAM slots, you can replace, um, you can add or replace the RAM. I believe this is DDR4, looks like. Uh, yep, DDR4, PC4, this is an 8 gig stick. So if you wanted to replace this, it uses DDR4 RAM. Uh, the keyboard connector, this connector's for the charge light here on the front. Then the keyboard backlight cable, the trackpad cable, and the hard drives right here. It has a slot for an SSD, this is for an M.2 SSD. Then you got the CMOS or the BIOS battery there. So. Once you got all of that, there's the charging port here, and then once you got the battery removed, what you want to do if you're replacing the screen, like every other one, hold the power button down, drain any power out. Okay, hold it a few seconds, that's good. So normally, these caps will be here. To remove them, you have to have this screen tilted almost pretty much all the way back. So these will actually come up when you pull the frame out. So to remove that, same thing, you get something underneath and you peel around the edges. This one, the plastic, it has an adhesive that sticks the screen to it. So you'll have to kind of pull slowly and pull hard. You'll feel the um, adhesive releasing. But once you get all the way around, when you pull here, this one will release the top of the, um, the hinge cover, so these. Once that happens, you can just pull these out. So pull those, both of those out, and then you can pull this up and out. So these little pieces will be caught under that hinge cover, so unless you take those out, you're not gonna be able to get this frame out. So once you get the frame out, set that aside. There's actually a very strong adhesive uh, strip behind the screen here and here. Since your screen's broken, you don't need to worry about it too much. Um, but you also need to remove this webcam cable because it's um, stuck to the back of the screen. If you just pull the screen, it'll yank on this. So what you do, there's a little groove here, kind of hard to see, but you can use like a small screwdriver or your nail and just pull it. Pull on it like that. You'll see it disconnects. And once you get it disconnected, you can start pulling on the screen. What I used, I used like a flat tool like this or the larger one. And what you do is you just get the tool behind here and you just pry it slowly. It'll slowly release 
it's it's actually tight on there because I stuck it back down a little bit but you just do that slowly and then once you get enough of it out you can get your hand behind there and then just slowly pull on it and just pull on it slowly and it'll come out so just do that on both sides this side too okay once you do that this cable the webcam cable will be up here just pull that out undo the tape make sure you held the button you can do it again just to be safe and then once you do that there's the LCD connector here you just pull this up there's a little latch here that goes over the the connector just make sure to lift this latch once you get that latch up then you can pull this connector out and then basically to replace the new screen you just do the reverse put the new screen put this back in tilt the screen back up stick it onto the back of this adhesive if the adhesive is coming out just make sure line it back up put it back and then make sure when you put the screen back that you reconnect this one and then that's pretty much it snap the bezel back in place over the screen snap the hinge covers on and then reconnect the battery and screw everything back and that's it